Creating a dynamic keynote with a engaging soundtrack can be a challenge, but I'm gonna show you how to do it very easily using GarageBand. I'm Joel Sutton, and this is Gerbil's Tech Tips. So I have this presentation I've been working on where it's all about car crash statistics, and I've already created all the animations that I need and want, and I'm ready to export this as a movie. But before I do that, I need to make sure that the file plays automatically. In order for that to happen, you need to go through each of your slides animations and make sure that each animation start time is not on click. In fact, you don't want any clicking to create an ideal movie with the proper delays and time sequencing. Instead, you want everything to be automatic. If you want a delay between slides, set that here. Then, for each and every animation that you have, you need to check your build order and make sure that like the slide animations, none of them are set to click. You want every animation in your entire video project or presentation to be a, an automatic action that happens on, with, or after another action. In other words, you want to be able to press the play button and allow the project to play start to finish without touching your computer at all, just like a movie would. And we can see that mine is working just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this now as a movie by going to File, Export To, choosing Movie, and from here, I am going to ignore the options for go to the next slide and after build because none of that will apply since none of my animations and transitions require a click to advance. I'm gonna leave it at 1080p and I'm gonna hit next and I'm gonna save this to my desktop. Excellent, now that my video is exported, I can open it and I can review it and play it as a video. However, there's no audio and that's gonna be a little boring. So let's fix that. Next, launch GarageBand. Here in GarageBand, we're gonna create a new file and we're gonna use this record using microphone or line input option. Here we have a million options. Whether you are an advanced GarageBand user or a beginner, I'm gonna to try to make this as easy as possible. Start by closing the library on the left side. We're not gonna need that. Then let's hide all these tools down bottom by closing the smart controls right here. Let's add your video. To do that, find your file that you exported, drag and drop the movie into GarageBand. As soon as you do, you'll see a window pop up that shows your video and you can scrub through it, no problem. You'll also notice that the video has been added to the timeline above. From here, we can also immediately begin recording our first audio track. And this would be any kind of voiceover or voice acting you want right here on the first track. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to turn off the metronome and the count in so I have no further distractions. I'm going to put the playhead, which is the line that shows you where you are in your video, at the start, and I'm going to push the red button to record. Car Crash Statistics from ASIRT.org by Joel Sutton. Now that I have my voiceover, I would like to add a few sound effects. So I'm gonna to go to the Apple Loop library right here that's pre-installed in GarageBand. I have a lot of effects. I have downloaded 19,000 of them, in fact. You can download more on your own or search on the internet for sound effect packs and download those and drag them and drop into the Loop library to add them to GarageBand. Now, first, I want to find a car crash. So I'm gonna search for car. And I can see I have quite a lot of these. And let's skim through what we have here, all right? So here I have some metal crashes. And I think that one right there is gonna work fine. So I'm gonna pick that loop up, drag it to my timeline under my audio track, and I'm gonna just scrub along until I find where I want that to be. And I'm just going to drag and drop. And it will add that sound effect exactly where I dropped it. You can also move it to better position it if you need, and you can trim the end of it by dragging the bottom right corner. And that is gonna work perfectly for that, set, that moment in the video where the two cards collide. Next, I wanna add some traffic sounds. So I'm gonna search for traffic in my library. I have one here that I like. It's a little long, but the beginning of it is excellent. Let's go back and see that in real time and try to hear it. Car crash statistics from A 
We may notice that the audio track is a little quiet, so we can pull the volume up on that and we can lower the volume on our city traffic. We also notice that the traffic for the car here is a little bit longer than my movie. So I'm going to trim that down to the place where I want it to end, right about there. In fact, let's just have that first car sound. Now, in more advanced settings, you can actually reduce the volume of this to fade out, but we're not going to go into that for this task. Next, I want to add a dog barking. Why? Why not? Let's have a dog bark the moment the tree is impacted. So, drag and drop our dog, and let's set it there. Statistics. from. And I also want to have another crash sound the moment that tree is hit. Ooh. That sounds fun. Let's use that. And obviously we've missed the moment of impact, which would be right about there. Try again. From and our dog bark is a little too long, so let's remove it. Now, following these tips, I'm going to go ahead and do this and fast forward and compile a soundtrack as well as some additional sound effects. Okay, now we've added a variety of sound effects. We've added some drums and some piano. Let's go ahead and give that a play and see how it sounds. Car Crash Statistics from ASIRT.org by Joel Sutton. Annual Global Car Crash Data. 20 to Obviously it works, but still needs a little refining. Through these steps and techniques though, you can take your time and adjust the volumes of each track and find just the perfect sound to begin with. And in no time, you'll have an amazing video and sound effect track to back up the quality of your videos. Now, how do we take this and turn it into a movie that we can post online? Well, from GarageBand, go to the File menu, scroll down to Movie, and choose Export Audio to Movie. Next, be sure to give your name or your file a name. Select where you're going to save it and the file size and save it. When it's done, you can share your video and relax. I hope this video has been helpful. If so, press that like and subscribe button and let me know what you'd like to see more of in the comments. Thanks for watching. Take care.